Okay, so it's time for a little update about uh, Gale Forest Raceway of New Jersey. So let me kind of share with you a little bit. You can see our race coordinator is up and running right now, just kind of hanging out. Uh, so there's our track, it's four by 16, about 68 foot lap length. Lanes are pretty equalized, they're not too bad. From the shortest one to the longest one, I think there's not even an eight inch difference, which is nice. Part of the software I used. You can see we have new controllers, which we have not hooked up yet. That you can't tell, but I can assure you they're not. Um, I thank DeFalco for those. Those are beautiful. I can't wait to use them. We got driver stations, proper ones, because right now, you know, office pen and pencil holders are the current ones. And although they work, I don't think because they're metal cans with the circuit boards on there is going to be a good idea. So... We pounced on slot car corner stuff. Thank you, Col uh, Lakota Collectibles, for that. Um, I appreciate the help and assistance with those and getting me the colors. Our timing bridge even has our name on it now. It's kind of cool. Works perfectly, like flawlessly. See, our McDonald's is in full swing. <laughs> Did a little more minor decorating. I don't know. I'm going to do it again or do it over, rather. Uh, nothing there is glued down at all, so you just breathe on it and things want to fall over. So we'll do that. And that's a guy uh, on Etsy or Etsy, uh, all the way out in Istanbul, Turkey, that he the 3D printed those, and they look so cool to me. Here's some of our cars. Some of those are getting tweaks. We're going to be getting some new rear axle things from uh, either Viper or... One of the other many vendors that are out there. Dash, I think, makes a few cool chassis we're looking at now. And eh, there's a few others we can look at, too. But the bigger deal is this. So that, we found out, is not a load-bearing wall, which means we can make the room even bigger. Now, we've used this in the past for our rookie races. We cater our food back here. And in New Jersey, we Italians, we don't fool around with our food. So while you guys are having pizza and snacks, we do full-on baked ziti homemade. <laughs> and we've done it a few times already. Um, crazy desserts and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is going to come down. I'm going to keep the shelving, probably move it against this wall, and make proper pit areas. So I'll use this you know, shelving and extend it with a countertop and then get proper lighting because this room is far darker because it's non-LED lighting than, say, that one. That's pretty obvious, actually. So we're going to do LED lighting in here. And, yeah, that's our next move. I want to get a little more serious, get some more real racers in here. Um, opinions, real racers. Are we okay with at least the squeeze tracks? Or should I unload those two? God knows I have a ton of tracks still. I'm almost capable of going six lanes at this point, but... Some of my outer 18-inch curves won't allow that unless I go inside. But, uh, but yeah, there's the update at Gale Forest Raceway. Let me hear uh, your opinions if you have them. I know opinions are like you-know-what. Everybody has one. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Gale Forest Raceway. Cheers.